My land is a forest, a forest you could never walk through. My land is a meadow, a meadow of thousand flowers. My land is a river, a river of the sweetest whispers. My land is summer, a summer from fairy tales and postcards. And for us, the people of this land, there's this one celebration that marks the beginning of summer. It's the summer solstice, or how we like to call it, Lingua and Yani. And we really love this celebration. <laughs> There's so many traditions and rituals surrounding it, but I would say that nature is present in all of them. It's not always the focus, but it's definitely woven into all of them in one way or another. There's this one particular tradition that I really like and I'm always excited for, and it's making a flower crown. My mom taught me how to make my first one, and I remember that my friend was making her crown, and I really wanted to have my own crown too, but I didn't know how to make it. I think I was around five or six at the time, and let's just say that it turned out not as I expected. It was really bad and falling apart. But since then, every year I had the chance to practice and make my crown I knew. I would go to the forest and meadows to pick flowers. They were always different and I liked that. I never expected my crown to look a certain way or to have certain flowers in it. I would just pick what I found all different colors and forms. A thicker crown needs quite a lot of flowers, so I like to pick more just in case I run out. The process is really simple, actually. <laughs> I use a thread to fasten and keep the flowers together, and just like that you create a braid or a belt or however you want to call it adding flowers until it fits around your head. Not too small, but also not too big so that it doesn't fall through. You then fasten both ends together and your festive headpiece is ready. In the evening we have a big feast because food is also one of the central elements of the summer solstice celebration in Latvia and I should also mention that nowadays we celebrate it on the 23rd and the 24th of June so it's a few days later than the astrological summer solstice. A bonfire is always lit at night into it, we throw our last year's flower crowns for good luck in the coming year. The night is very short and we wait until the morning, gathered around the fire. We bathe in the waters of the sea, a lake or a river, lit by the first rays of the sun. That is pure magic. <laughs> 
a ritual shared by all of my people, partaken fully or partially, and it doesn't really matter because this tradition, whoever and wherever you are, makes you connect to this beautiful land, to Mother Nature, so deeply that we all become one, even if just for a moment. <laughs>